my, my <laughs> partners in crime. And one man, clearly gripped by all the action, decides to take a break from it all with his wife. Must be a no drills holiday. <sighs> yes, well, what, what does that picture say to you, Fraser Nelson? I think it's, it's a great picture. My heart leapt when I saw that. Because this is the sort of holiday lots of British people can imagine themselves having. This isn't a George Osborne style, let's go to some exclusive ski resort thing. And it goes to show that it's probably um, in not a very hotly contested category, the best thing Cameron's done all year in terms of... Um, <laughs> is that yeah, it, but it, it's great because, you know, right now you've, you've just had the budget, um, the financial year starting, taxes going up. And it up. looks like he's having an austerity holiday. Yeah, right? and actually it looks as if it's a big con. But so the Camerons actually are quite kind of austere like that. I mean, they don't, they're not, they're not really flash people, even though they are very rich, but they're not flash with it. Do you agree with Fraser? Or do you think he's reading too much into this shot of them at the airport waiting for their flight to Malaga? I think it's terrific PR. I mean, you, there you are, taking a holiday in a week where it could be very embarrassing to take holiday and they're going somewhere cheap. However, and it's better than Oliver Lett when saying that nobody from Sheffield should be allowed to have cheap holidays. And it's also better than Nick Clegg whinging on to Jemima mm. Khan in the New Statesman about how everybody hates him. You know, as an example of how not to get people to feel sympathy and empathy. How empathy. wise was that, really? I mean, you're talking about weeping to, to music. I mean, when you're a sitting politician, it's just not a good idea, is it?